Alrighty then, people. Welcome back to Garen's Greed Dolores Fleet Campaign, where we last left off. We finally, or we finally started attacking Western Europe. Uh, we got attack, or we attacked the people who conquered China for some reason. We we're about to attack Japan and Russia. And yes, originally I had planned to capture Belfast in this episode, or at least attack Belfast in this episode. Like run through these, then go grab Western Europe and then attack Belfast. So I went to the wiki to look how many times I could nuke before SEMA would leave us. It's 40% law, so six times. But um, then I remembered that you get a couple of pilots for having max law. One of which I really want, because it's what this campaign has been lacking. So instead of attacking Belfast, which we'd probably use a nuke for this, and then when we develop the GPO2, we're going to nuke the fuck out of uh, Green Noah... So instead of doing that, we're just going to capture Western Europe in this episode, build a bunch of Zgox to attack Belfast a little bit easier since I've been producing Gelgogs for some stupid reason. And then after we do that, we'll get a certain pilot, and then we'll go start nuking the crap out of it. As far as Belfast goes, like if you stand here, you can nuke uh, Dublin for some reason. What, Gwynedd? I don't know. I don't know Wales. But yeah, you can nuke straight across, and you can nuke Dublin, so... And they usually gather units up around here when you do. And I really hate this map because it's like water. Then there's just that like small sliver of Cornwall. So you like land all your troops on Cornwall because they're already there. And then they all attack from sea and you get your ass kicked. But what we're going to do is we're going to attack in waves. The first wave is going to be entirely Zgox. Or Zgox and Hygox. Which we will get them into the water and we'll start attacking their guy, their flying units. And their land units, and we'll take them out through that. And then after we get those units taken out, we'll um, start bringing in like the desert zakus and the zanzibars and stuff to deploy units, uh, harass them, and eventually land on Ireland and take it. Um, yeah, probably what we'll do is they will always have this base and this base, but they'll they won't have this one. So we'll have to like land troops here and here, and like have somebody down here nuke one of these bases. Uh, it'll make more sense when I actually do the battle, but that'll be next episode, I think. And plus, in this one, we have, like, six different battles. We have here, 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 and then these three, which... Uh, for this one, I'm going to auto-resolve it, because basically the first turn is going to be moving around, and that's not all that interesting. They probably won't even attack. So, yeah. That one's dealt with. One's dealt with. Oh, and here. I didn't load them up because I'm not all that intelligent, and yeah, there's six units and it fits in the Zanzibar, they just weren't loaded up for some reason. And instead of sending them to the one that's obviously going to win this one, like they have three troops left and we have nine, um, we're going to send it to this one where we're actually going to use it, which for this one, I think what we're going to do is they'll spawn right here, so we'll have them go up and around and attack these three, and we'll have just the units here go and take these ones out because... This is all like heavy mountain, so everyone only gets one movement, and I think Big Zom just gets stopped. So we're just gonna fly the Zanzibar over, capture this, deploy units, and take them out. It'll be fine. Plus, there's a Galbaldi in there, so yeah. Um, anything else to talk about before I end the turn? Yeah, this is just a GM2. That's nothing. Uh, not a GPO2, which made me happy. Um, spying's done. Oh, we're about to get the GPO2 next turn, I think. Because, yeah, I think it's tech level 13. Um, yeah, that's... Uh, let us begin. And then after we get the GPO2, we'll just produce, like, shit tons of them. Actually, I think we'll produce five for the attack on Green Noah. And then we'll just leave them in the atmosphere to suicide bomb Jabiro eventually. We'll land them in, like, two HLVs, have them all deploy, and just nuke the first turn. Because after we start the Battle of Jabiro, it won't matter what our alignment is, because I don't think that affects the ending in this campaign. This is one of the third party ones. But I'll try getting the, both the perfect ending and the uh, evil ending and see if they change at all. But generally, um, you get different endings depending on what your alignment is. But I think that since this is a third party one, you'll just get the same one either way. So if we get the same one either way, I'll just add one in. But if there's extras, I'll just add them on to the end of the other one. Yeah. I'll just have to beat it without using nukes or something. Oh, oh yeah, I didn't explain what they had. Sorry. Um, this is a ground combat GM. That is a Gundam full armor. 
a full armor Gundam, which I think that's the Mark II, the gray one, not or the brown one, not the green one. That's an Aqua GM. That is a GM Kai, a Gundam or a GM Sniper Mark II, and a tank. I've got really good at spotting what the enemy has. And this is a Zigok, a Dop, and a Lugan. I don't know why they're there, but we're going to take advantage of the Lugan, which has really good scanning potential. And the full armor Gundam's going to range attack us. I already know. But yeah, it's one of these things. I believe they're co uh, combat ground Gundam, or ground GMs. If I said Gundam, I apologize. I didn't actually mean that. And with the with the Zanzibar, I think we have two units of Gelgogs in here. Yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna deploy units and go and attack these guys in mass. I think this guy will get close enough to like right here, and he'll start shooting on these guys. If we engage him with like even a single unit of Zigox, we'll kill him. The full armor doesn't have any rain or any melee, and Zigox are pretty good at melee. Oh, and high gogs are even better. So I might reorganize the units. Ah, damn it, they attacked the Zanzibar. Uh, that Aqua GM attacked the Zanzibar. I'm not worried about it, but I wanted... Oh, they actually attacked the Zigok. I forgot they can range. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. They suck. But I wanted them to attack the um, this unit so that we wouldn't have to battle them next turn. But since they're already here, you know, why not? Why use an Aqua unit on them when they're on land? Um... You can attack from... Oh, crap, I, they're on water. Yeah, since this is considered water, they can't attack a unit that's on land. It's just one of those stupid things. So yeah, we're going to attack them, and we can attack the gun cannon, so it doesn't matter. Um, oh, yeah, we can scan, of course. Um, that's an Aqua GM. That is a mass production gun cannon. I was wrong. I thought that was a GM sniper. And... It's Mark 1 full armor Gundam. Still has no melee, but slightly worse than the Mark 2. They really should be getting Mark 2s soon. Or they might already have Mark 2s and they're only producing the Mark 1. I don't know. Something weird like that. Oh, um, something I didn't mention. While why I call Aqua GMs trash so much is they have 225 HP. The Zaku C has 180. The Zaku C is the worst mobile suit in the game. Well, it, not worse, but it's not very good. Okay, uh, we hit, we lost a unit, but we did destroy them. Um, Zaku C technically gets nukes, so it's not the worst, but it's pretty bad. Like it does nothing useful. Oh. We're going to lose another unit. That's just going to happen. But we're not going to attack with these guys next turn, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, and they sent out the tanks. Cool. We're having that unit retreat just because the first unit's down to one. Or we might have them go around and attack the gun cannon. Yeah, let's do that. Putting the high gog in front, so it takes most of the damage. Um, I can't do anything, damn it. Okay. These guys are going back into the Zanzibar, just so next battle is a little bit easier and I won't have to reload them up for no reason. We should destroy both of the enemy units, like tanks, not all that much to worry about, and then that uh, GM Kai is almost destroyed. Yep. And then we'll probably end up mailing the gun cannons. Oh, they didn't even attack back. Alright. Yeah. If we miss, I'll be very disappointed. Okay. High gogs do melee really well. <laughs> Yeah, we'll just re we'll repair them. It doesn't matter. 
And there's Russia again. Which, absolutely nothing is going to happen. We'll end up breaking that eventually, but I don't see a point in doing it right now. We'll probably end up breaking it right before we take Green Noah, just so we can defend that before. Let's see, what do they have? We have a bunch of Desert Zakus and some Galgogs, which can't move very far in the mountains. So, we have a GM Cannon. I don't think... Yeah, it's a normal GM Cannon. It's a GM-2 with a flyer, and that's a Gun Cannon Mark II. I think a GM Sniper and an Aqua GM. So, what we are going to do... Oh, and I very much hate this map. Um, basically, this river, we can't cross it. Because, you know, it's 20 feet deep. And we're using, like, 20 or 60-ish feet mobile suits. I think we're actually closer to 70 this early on with Zaku's. But yeah, so we can't go through a 20-foot river. Which, the currents are rarely more than 30 miles per hour. Meaning, we would probably dam the river if we tried walking through it for, like, 30 seconds. But yeah, so they're going to range attack us because we can't do anything about it. But it's mountains and they're GMs. We got hit twice and we blocked one. So we took like 20 damage. And I think they have like a possible 200. Yeah, so we'll destroy this one fairly easily. We can't scan though. That's the sucky part. But yeah, so the GM, or that uh, GM2 will come to us, so I'm not going to move just yet, but I'll get the Galgogs in position to help since their movement sucks. I didn't check if those were normal Galgogs or Mark II's. Or, not Mark II's, uh, Marines. They think they can fight us, Dasu. Oh. <laughs> I just love the crackers. Like, legitimately. I totally, I totally forgot they were in the show. And then the fact that they just kind of throw them because and hit the target, just, I find funny for some reason. Oh, they're attacking that unit. Yep. Yes. I will start skipping his dialogue since we've all heard it a dozen times. Oh, I was hoping we'd destroy them. Oh, well. But yeah. So, we have to send these units along the supply route. Since we can't cross the river, we have to cross over supply lines. So what we're going to do is we're going to send this unit up towards this base. We'll send this unit over towards this base. Then we'll go and attack the center together. They'll probably split up and try to fight us individually and get horribly murdered. Um, can you do anything? Oh, and yeah, these are all mar these are mostly marines, so they get even more less movement, but yeah. Oh, actually... With this unit, can I? I can. Okay, what we want to do is we're going to destroy this unit, and we're going to go up and take this base. We'll have this one go over here and take this. It's going to take two turns, but it's just what has to happen. Crap, I moved that one at the bottom, right? Eh, oh well. Probably what's going to happen is the units in China will set north and just have them take out the people in the center. And then, after that... We'll probably have these guys go help out in Belfast. And I'm going to start sending the Gelgogs into space for the attack on Green Noah. My theory on that is we'll just send a... We'll bring all the Gelgogs, Galbaldis, every unit we can to go attack Green Noah. We'll nuke the shit out of them and then wipe up their remains. And with the, unit that, with the units that survive Green Noah, we'll send them to capture... Uh, we'll send them in HLVs to drop down on the center of North America... And then we'll have aquatic units attack both California, or, yeah, attack both California and New York. And then we'll have the units in HLVs drop in the center of North America and split off and attack the, um, yeah, we'll have the units that drop in HLVs split off and attack both the inside places. And then we'll have, like, half the units go grab Mexico so Jabro can't reinforce the two getting attacked. <laughs> I'll explain that later next turn. I probably shouldn't have explained it now, because that's just kind of confusing, and I'm not explaining it very well. Okay, so, where do we want to do first? We want to... Those guys have HP and energy, so 
Those guys can move forward. These guys. Um. Okay. So what we are going to do is we are going to move this unit that only has one HP or one suit left, but full HP. We're going to move him. We are then going to move this guy to here, and this unit, which is at full health and full energy, inside. Then we are going to reorganize it. So the full health one, then the slightly better health one, and then the less health one. So they'll probably end up attacking that one, but I don't think they'll leave the base, so we should be able to attack them with both groups. And then that one in the base will just leave in the base, because there's no real use for it. Hopefully we can get there, because this is all mountain too, so this is like a valley, and then this is mountain. So we get a little bit of extra movement through the valley, but I think the mountain might stop us. And we won't even cut off its supply lines, we won't have enough people, because we'll be able to do enough damage to destroy it in one turn. It should be okay. Ah, oh, and there's some Zegox in there. Didn't notice. Ugh. Okay. I'm going to try sending them along the supply lines to see if we can get there a little bit quicker. Um, the, the unit with the Zegox in it is actually kind of running out of energy, so they're only going to be able to attack once. So, once is all we'll get. Damn it. Okay. Um, let's move there and hope we can get there in time. Ah, oh, but this one worked. So yeah, next turn we should be able to engage them, then they'll we'll do enough damage to them to where... Oh, we have one unit at the bottom too, I didn't notice that. But um, we'll be able to engage them this turn. We'll be able to do enough damage to where they'll counterattack us, but they won't be able to do much. Oh, and we'll be able to reach it too. Sweet. So, we can't scan, so we lose like 20% accuracy. But we should take them out very easily. Oh, and they attack the... Or, or the better unit. Okay. Yeah, we won Japan, right? Yeah. It's really sad, but I can't remember. <laughs> okay, I'll assume. But okay, so we're just gonna load them up in the HLV and go forward. Um. Send Big Zom and these guys along too for range support, I guess. Um, they're probably going to break off units and attack us since we're sending units at them and they only have one. Oh, yeah, they actually did it. Good. They're attacking the Zanzibar, though. Yeah. Oh, and it's a uh, G Fighter. I'm thinking Slugger. Oh, well, we missed completely, so it doesn't really matter. The Zommel can scan, I believe. Yes, yes, it can. So can Zegox. Okay. So, I'm thinking Slugger. And it's Sela. Alright then. We're gonna get some car information, I guess. <laughs> She's gonna randomly start talking about her Nissan. Yeah, that wasn't even a challenge. Oh. Oh, she doesn't actually do it in this one. I'm so sad. Oh, well. Um, I think if I play uh, on my Federation playthrough, I will unlock her since I've cleared it. I've cleared the campaign at least twice using the Federation, but I probably won't use her since she's not all that useful. Well, I'll, I'll probably use her and just throw her in, like, a Pegasus or something. Because I have a crap load of those. So, we are going to finish this off in one turn. We are going to have these Marines take out the gun cannon. And these guys take out the sniper. And hopefully this works. Yeah, it did. Okay, so, what is it? This is the Mark III, or the 77 Mark III. It has laser cannons instead of uh, conventional cannons, but it only works on the planet, so it's fine. It's a GM Sniper too. I was thinking somebody was piloting it, but okay. And we're going to move you at a distance so you can range attack this guy. Uh, we're going to destroy both those units, but the Zommel just gives a little extra support. 
Ah, and these are Galgog Marines. Cool. Eh, we beat him in the ranged phase. We didn't even get into melee. We would have won melee, though. Okay. Oh, and we beat them in the ranged phase, too. Alright, then. And next turn, they'll all heal full, so... Yeah. I don't even think we need to repair anyone in this unit. Yeah. Okay, I think Scandinavia comes up next. Oh, no. This one does. Alright. So, yeah. We're just gonna let them come to us. Um... Can't hit anyone with Big Zom. Though, if I do use Big Zom, I need to remember to move stuff, because they will take out units close by. And the closer you get to Big Zom, you almost Im you almost immediately destroy them. Ooh, yeah. I think they, that GM Sniper might have done something stupid. And yes, yes it did. That was incredibly lucky, actually. Let's see, you guys. You're moving to here, because there's a straight line. I don't know if we'll destroy them, but we should do a ton of damage. And since the Big Zom's in a base... Yeah, I don't want to move them, because if I move them here, they're going to get killed. If I move them here, it'll probably still get hit. Sadly, that puts the Gelgog kind of in a little bit of danger, since this unit's going to get... Or this unit right here is going to get close. This ranged unit's going to range attack it. Etc, etc. We'll have the Zanzibar go hit that base over there, uh, the one in the center. And, yeah. Oh hey, we actually destroyed it. I thought it would do like 330 or something. It's weird like that on occasion. Oh, and the unit's ranged attacking us. Yep. Let's see what it actually does. Oh, and it's a mass production gun cannon, so it's not all that deadly. Waste a bunch of their energy, though. So yeah. Ah, oh, we're one unit. We're one space away. We won't actually capture this base. We'll just bypass it. And we can't attack them. That sucks. Though, it's something I want to try, just for the walls. This unit's right in the way. We might actually be able to hit it. And we'll move here and here, just to get a better chance to hit them. Um, I don't want to risk it, tell the truth. I don't want to lose three and it's just on the off chance that this doesn't actually hit them. Okay. He's a fire in his laser. Holy shit. <laughs> Did more damage than okay so the closer they get the more damage it does it does actually make sense ah, and I think one of them is actually in melee range oh we're not attacking back that's a bad idea I think that's a GPO one. Oh no ground Gundams yeah so they wouldn't have been able to do enough damage unless they had the missile launchers I really hope the Goths dodge at least one of them. Yeah. Okay, we'll have this unit go attack the gun cannons. And then we'll have the Galgog Marines go hit the GM Kai. Oh, or we can't do that, so instead we will reorganize. And we will have just the... Just that one. We'll have him retreat since I don't want to actually lose the Goths. They can upgrade to flying units, so they're actually pretty good. Um, can't do anything besides Big Zomb Beam, but we don't need Big Zomb Beam right now. Um, we brought the GPO-2. Um, these are some Magellan tanks? Okay, so we're going to do something. We brought a weird collection of units. My fault. But yes, we are using a Galbaldi B, the Desert Zaku, and the Normal Zaku, or the Normal Desert Zaku, to take out that Gundam. I should have scanned it. Shit. 
Okay, well, we'll spread particles. They'll probably send this GM sniper out to attack the Zanzibar. But that's fine. And then the gun cannon at the other units will move closer and try attacking the one with the goth, but it should survive. And we get to melee with the Galbaldi bees, which is really nice. Oh. Okay. It's gonna move to attack the Zanzibar. Ah, this one has a goth too. Alright. Just barely got that on melee. That's really surprising, actually. We generally miss those. But yeah, everyone... Oh, it actually ran away. I was thinking it would go move to attack the Zanzibar. Uh, the unit at the top. It. Those Gundams. Oh. Yeah, those are Gun Cannon Mark IIs. We won't actually win this battle this turn, because I'm going to have the Zanzibar retreat back to that base, but it should be okay. And yeah, the Goth survived. Pretty much those Gundams just made it so we couldn't win, but unless... Can we send just this unit? How many... They have 41 in a single unit. So... Risking it's not all that bad an idea. We have nearly full HP, so it should be fine. What turn is this? Five. Okay, we're not going to win this anyway, but we can sure as hell try. We could nuke them, but wasting a nuke on this battle is kind of stupid. Um, If we move Big Zom... No, we can't attack. Uh, there's four, not three. Oh, well. Um, we will finish this up next turn. There will be no real issue. Actually, we won't generate any... We won't get anything for capturing that base since it's not connected to another base. But the uh, Desert Zaku will be able to get in after the attack. We'll be able to get back into the Zanzibar next turn. Come on, we need the melee. Thank you. I was going to be really disappointed if that didn't work. Oh! That's why it was so hard. It's Karen from MS-08. I think they actually get a combat bonus in mass production Gundams. Or, Grand Gundams. I feel sad about that, but it doesn't really matter. It'll move like one or two spots away, we'll move up to it and attack it. Yeah. Oh, it actually moved one spot away. That's weird. It's probably attacking the Zanzibar. Oh, never mind. Yeah, we'll wipe it out. They pretty much sacrificed that unit. Yeah, we'll deal with that next turn, and that's fine. And, oh fuck, I didn't mean to do that. You press circle to actually do the battle, and triangle to not do the battle, or to auto-resolve the battle. So, we are going to do... Uh, well, I'll just do it myself. Basically, all it is is moving around, so I'm going to try to do this as quickly as possible, so I will probably be quiet for the next, like, 30 seconds. Just because talking and explaining moving, moving is kind of boring. Um... While that unit at the top does need to heal a little bit, we're going to bypass the base and capture this one down here. Just because I don't want to waste a turn moving one spot. Yeah, we'll just capture that one down there next turn. Um, and you know the Zanzibar in North Europe? I think we'll just send that one to uh, attack as well and fly directly over the ocean. It'll be fine. Yeah, I think we'll just end in that Zanzibar. It'll make the job a lot easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll spawn right here. We'll go grab that in like two turns. 
They'll probably try engaging us, we'll wipe them out. It's fine. It'll be fine. And then we'll attack Western Europe next turn. It would have been better if we did it this turn, but oh well. Oh. Oh, Okay, so basically what happened is we got a th we got 500 resources and a thousand credits because we're very very nice, and we got over we have over 70% law, which is like 700. So we got extra resources, and we get them at weird intervals because of how I did it. So yeah, um, look. oh we're still on, oh we're still on tech. 12. Okay. Well, we're going to invest a little bit. We'll produce some Zgox in uh, Jaburo. Or not, Odessa. Um, let's see. That's 1934, and these are 2127. Um, I'm going to do mostly these with a couple of these. Um, we're fighting. I produced Gelgogs here last turn, because I, or two turns ago, because I'm an idiot, because, you know. Surrounded by this one is completely surrounded by water. Then after we take out Belfast, we're going to be attacking Hawaii, which is completely surrounded by water. Then after we grab Hawaii, we're going to be attacking something bordered by a lot of water, and here where there's still a lot of water. Producing Galgox is really stupid. And I do apologize if you noticed. But yeah, so, I was mentioning this a couple of battles ago. What we're going to do is, after we take out Green Noah, we're going to have everyone go to here, I believe? Which is the drop point for North America. When you drop on North America, you land on the center. That's why they have 11 units there. It's trying to block us from dropping units. So we'll drop a bunch of HLVs full of, like, Gelgogs and stuff on here. And then we'll have them split up. Half will attack here. Or, a quarter will attack here, a quarter will attack here. And then half of them will go capture Mexico, so... Jabro can't reinforce. We'll slowly capture the rest of North America. And then um, we'll send our Zgox who are... We'll have a bunch of Zgox and Dops and stuff in here and in Hawaii. And we'll send them to attack on the same exact turn so that they're divided in three and um, we can attack them from both sides. Hopefully capture these two in like three or four turns. And then we'll surround Jabro. And that'll be our last target. And we will both nuke the shit out of them and use like 250 units It'll be a freaking massive battle. And after Mexico, we'll probably grab here. We'll have the units down here go grab here after we capture Hawaii. And, yeah, it should work out. But yeah, since we're still on Tech 12, we can't really do much. Um, that is 30 minutes. I don't know. Um, what is in here? That is an Aqua GM. So, do I want to waste... Yeah, fuck it, let's make a longer episode. First, repairing. Oh, we only had one damaged unit in there. No damage there. No one there. Um, it, we didn't have anyone damaged in here, really? Yeah, we... Oh, we don't have the credits. I'm an idiot. Okay, so we are... We're gonna leave these guys here. Um, this one, they're just far away, so it doesn't really matter. And... Oh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. One there, and this battle's taken care of as well. So yeah, let's just end that. Hopefully, we will get uh, the GPO two next turn, and if we do, we'll spend like three or four turns producing a bunch of them. Yeah, again, Russia not doing much. Yep, still the exact same thing with Russia. Okay, so send these guys up, send these guys over. Yeah, because if we sent the guys from China, if we could have repaired them, they would have spawned right here. We'd just grab that, and we'd get a, a movement bonus along the supply line, but oh well. I'm really hoping they we get to those bases and they split up to try to attack us in thirds. Um, yeah, it's really stupid that we can't cross the freaking river. I can't remember which one it was. I was about to say Volga, but pretty sure that's in Western Russia. Oh, 
Oh, and we're one spot away from being able to take the base. Great. But yeah, see, it's like cut off there, and then we have movement. It's just we can't cross the freaking river. So stupid. Yeah, I'm sorry this isn't more exciting. I didn't think it would take this long. The good part is, though, that we regenerate health. Uh, we'll regenerate health this turn. And this battle will take more time, but... Eh. It's one unit, and we have Japan pretty much cordoned off, so... It's fine. And then, yeah, I think most of our... Is this guy at full health, too? Yeah, they're all at full health, so... We're pretty good. We're actually where we started, whereas they've lost half their units. Yep. No, I didn't send it to Zanzibar there. Yeah. And there's this one, which... Yeah. Um, I'm actually gonna give that a turn to regenerate. Um, that icon looks weird as hell. Like, holy crap, I didn't know what it was for a second there. It's that Aqua G or that Aqua Zaku. Oh, and this unit won't heal, so there's no point in waiting. Um, we're gonna move right there, so they can't range attack us. This turn, at least. Next turn, we'll get a little bit closer. Yep. Um, can we deploy units is the question. Yeah, we... Eh, not close enough. So, we are going to move to here. They will be able to attack us, but hopefully we can, like, deploy units there, then move closer, have these guys get in, and... These guys are the good ones, right? Yeah. Have these guys get into the Zanzibar next turn, we'll be able to give support. It's the plan anyway, it probably won't work out like that. But, uh, they ha half their units are gun cannons and the other are GM sniper, so as long as we melee first, we should be able to do more damage than they can do. And as long as we don't lose a unit, it's fine. Fuck, I spied last turn, right? Shit. Oh well. If I didn't, I didn't. Okay. Whoops, wrong button. Okay, yeah, so next turn we'll be able to attack. Um, how far can these guys move? Only one space. Okay. So, we are gonna move there, move them in there, we'll move over, then the turn after we'll be able to attack them. They're gonna attack the those units that I just deployed. But it's ground terrain, so it should be okay. Or, it's mountain terrain. As bad as that looked, we took less, or we took just over 100 damage. So. We're going to melee them. Or. We're going to move close and scan them so we get a little bit extra. Let's see, GM Sniper 2 and a Gun Cannon 2. Melee. Oh, they both have melee. I didn't know that. Oh well. We should be able to do enough damage to where they won't be able to do much to us. We have some actual pretty good units. Oh, and they didn't attack back. That's interesting. <laughs> melee rolls. That's fun. They'll probably range attack the Zanzibar. Oh, they split up. I wasn't actually expecting them to do that. Huh, we'll actually destroy them. We're not attacking, that's a bad idea. Yeah, I don't think the GM cannon does enough damage to destroy it. Yeah, okay, they did like, what, 150? Yeah, I didn't think altogether they did enough damage to destroy it, so the fact that they attacked a unit that wasn't attacking back gave them a higher dodge chance. And we're reorganizing this unit. Well, I like having Goffs in front. Goffs do a little bit better melee, plus they can stun the enemy.
because of the heat rods. So they are kind of useful. I thought they would attack that unit. Yeah, we lost one Goth and completely annihilated them. Yep, we won. And then Finland, or Scandinavia, technically. Okay, we're just ignoring that base. We're gonna go straight. Yeah. Just like two turns, we'll end up cutting off that supply line. They'll send somebody at us. Oh, I forgot about the Zaku. Fuck. Oh, well, that's fine. So, we will send you down. Yeah, they're gonna send like the tin cods at us or whatever those are. It's a tin cod and a bomber of some sort. So. They'll, like, send the tin cod at us, yeah. Uh, tin cods don't actually have that much HP, so... And they don't do very much damage. It's saber fishes that you have to worry about. Oh, and we missed every single hit. Of course we did. But yeah, watch out for saber fishes. Tin cods are kind of funny. Let's see. Scan! Ah, uh, no one's piloting it. I was hoping, like... Uh, a rebel would be piloting it or something. And that's one of those weird mantis bombers thing. I forgot what they're called. But yeah. Oh, hey, we actually shot two down. That just made them even worse. Next time we'll go over land and deploy, uh, the turn after we'll deploy units and kill them. Hey, maybe we'll actually destroy them on this turn. Oh, wow, we got close. Whoops. Keep bumping stuff. So, you, next turn we should be able to attack. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four. Yeah. Uh, they're going to attack uh, uh, the Zanzibar, but next turn we'll deploy units and kill them. Hopefully we destroyed the Tin Cod, too. Oh, hey, we actually did it. Well, we got a fair amount of kills on that Zanzibar. It actually has some experience. Ah, and they didn't attack us. Can it attack us? That's the real question. Ah, can only attack ground units. That's surprising. And since there's two uh, of these, they can range. Or they can range. Yes, that's what I meant to say. They'll probably counterattack this unit because it's weaker. And I'm gonna reorganize that real quick. But we'll wipe them out. Like they shouldn't get out of the. Or, like the first thirty seconds, we'll wipe them out. Plus, it only has like eighty HP. It didn't counterattack. That's surprising. Okay. Oh, hey, we got a design for some. Holy shit. Holy shit. Yeah, well, we just stole that. <laughs> so I did actually do spying. Still at 12. Damn it. Okay, we gotta try to force this a little bit. Oh, and hey, we left we leveled up in tech. So. Yes. We're going to wait another turn to let those Egox produce. Um, we're gonna send. We're gonna repair these guys and then send them down. Um, we're gonna repair these guys. We don't have any. Oh, yeah, we do still have money left. No one there, no one there. Um. And then we'll send these guys to go help out with that. Um, we need to send... Yeah, we're going to leave those there. Next turn we'll attack that. I just want to get these units involved. But that'll... That'll be the end of this episode. If you enjoyed it, you should like it. Wrong button.